Everyone's talking about number 99, Aaron Judge. Uh, 31 plate appearances without a home run. What do you think of that? Greg, he's a creature of habit. He's going to hit some home runs. I'm going to tell you why 61's coming. I'll go Greg Amsinger. Yeah. Tomorrow! All right? <laughs> but this dude is a stud. All right? Now, here's the thing I love about players and being able to follow guys around. Carlos, you can identify to this. Creatures of habit. Aaron Judge is a creature of habit. You see him tap the bat here, and then he goes up like this. He looks over his shoulder. That was the first at bat tonight. Now, first at bat, he'll always go up, talk to the catcher, umpire, how you doing? Share the pleasantries. Okay, that was off Guzman the other night. Now, I lost to our second at bat on Monday. Okay, Aaron, tap the shoe. All right, look over his shoulder. Okay, stroll up, go to the plate. <laughs> Get ready to hit. Third at bat, tap the shoes. Look over the shoulder. I'm over here. Okay. <laughs> then go on up. That's all yesterday. Then we go to tonight. First at bat, tap the shoes. Well, look on over. Okay. Stroll up. I mean, this is cool, man. Creature of habit. And he'll go up, and like he did the other game, leading off. He's going to go up no matter if he's hitting first, third, fourth, whatever. Share pleasant trees and get up. I think the other thing, too, he's starting to relax. And that, uh, creatures of habit and being able to have a routine helps you be able to relax. Did anybody else notice this? Yes. Excellent. All right. I mean, this is so cool, right? That's what he does. The other thing Aaron Judge does a lot, and I don't like him leading off as much as everybody else does, he likes to measure the pitcher. He has that bats on the on-deck circle all the time. You go watch him hit. He's hitting later. He's having that bat as the pitcher is throwing to the other hitter. All right, let's go back. Why is he where he's at right now? This is 58, home run, right center field, right? Here's number 60 against Pittsburgh. Boom. That's the 60th one to left. Do you realize how many balls he's hit the right field since 60? Well, here's one of them. Boom. Pulling everything. That was a ground ball to first base. That was the last ball he hit the right field until yesterday. All right, I'm just saying, that's a long time. I watched this Boston series. He just missed that ball. This is on Thursday. This ball is right here. Normally, he's on that a little bit. I think when you're starting to think about home runs, you starting to pull a little bit more. He's off of that. Saturday, here's a ball right there. Just missed it. All right? He missed three balls in this game that he's normally drilling. And I think 61's in your head. I mean, that's natural. You're trying to go deep, right? And he's missing balls. So then this is the other day, he hits this ball third baseline. I was at this game on Sunday. Pulls the ball there. He's starting to pull everything. Center field has now become his right field, which isn't normal for Aaron Judge because we're used to seeing him shoot that ball to right. So basically, he's eliminated half the field. He's trying to pull everything. And I think he got a little pull happy over the weekend facing the Red Sox. Then I saw this yesterday, and I said, oh, okay. That was the first ball I've seen him hit the right field in about two weeks. He drills that ball to right. Tonight we saw him line up to third, but I think – He's getting there. Why? He's now covering the whole field. Look, it's easy. I mean, you do home run derby. You hit Carlos. You're a guy that pulled balls a lot. It's easy to think about. If I'm going to hit a home run, look at this spray chart. This is what I'm talking about, just to back it up spray chart-wise. He's not hitting anything to right field. We used to watch him blister balls to right. He hasn't been doing that. And that ball yesterday was a big sign. But, I mean, if I was trying to hit home runs, I'm pulling too. So I think he's just a little tick off. Starting to pull the ball, but yesterday was a big sign. You know, I, I do agree with you in the sense that he is pulling off the ball slightly. Now, this is going to be, this is a little bit of an oxymoron because you're thinking to yourself, pulling the ball. But what I'm trying to say is the reason why he's pulling off is because he's late. When we're late, mm. we pull off the front shoulder trying to what? Create space, yep. give yourself more time. However, let's give him a break because he's having really good at bats. His hard it, hit percentage look, and exit velo is still the best in baseball since his last home run. Now, this, however, I, I got, but I, I'll man. tell you what, guys, this is a great stat right here we're looking at, but let's put a little bit of context behind that, right? He is the largest human in all of baseball and also 17% of the NFL, by the way, all right? So these stats here are a little bit misleading because right. when he does make contact, he hits it He's gonna harder hit it hard anyway. than anybody. But... But, yes, Greg, yes, it's physics. Now, I'll tell you this. When you look at his hard hit ball percentage per attempt, that is more real. Because I'm talking about every single swing, right? Swings and misses, foul balls, balls that he puts in play. If you look at those percentages, in that span, it was 20.9% of 
of the swings that he takes that he hits hard balls, you know, puts the ball in play hard, 95 miles per hour off the bat or more, right? His average is 20.1. Uh, so he, he's actually slightly above his season average as far as hard hit balls hit per swing. So is he really struggling? No, he's kind of hitting it at the same rate he's been hitting it all season. The one thing I'll say is because he's slightly late, He's creating different angles because he's creating space. So you see that ball down the line? Mm -hmm. He's opening up. Yep. The bat goes up. You top the ball. You top spin it instead of back spinning it for a home run. Yep. So it's more of a timing issue, but he's still so good that he gets a barrel to the baseball. Yeah. That's, the, that's the key. It, it's like he's this. So, it's like he's, this. He's, he's so big and he's so strong. He doesn't have to be perfect to hit home runs. Does it? A lot of guys have to be perfect to square a ball up. He doesn't, to get those X velocity numbers. But the one thing I did notice on Sunday, going to the game, I mean, it's everybody watching Aaron Judge. The camera's constantly on him. It's like he, he's that person that everybody's watching. And I, I thought for the first time, I saw Aaron not be Aaron, had a little edge to him, like didn't really talk to people. He's usually really cordial, always talking. I thought yesterday when he got to Toronto, watching him talk to the fans before at bats and talk to the umpire and the catcher, he's getting back to being Aaron Judge, getting used to the fishbowl again. I, I think he'll be fine. He's going to hit the home run here he shortly. Will. I, I'm and with once it. that happens, it's just wait till he's off. Well, if it happens tomorrow, you heard it here first, and that will be a gigantic viral moment. Harold <laughs> predicting that Aaron Judge will hit Listen a home to run tomorrow. Listen to him. Which will be mind-blowing.